JK News Network, you are watching Evening Bulletin with Bushra Naseem. Here we bring the updates from India and all over the world. So let's look over the top coverage. 13 arrested for plotting to the kidnap Michigan Governor Vitimar. FBI has arrested 13 people over the alleged plots to kidnap Michigan Domestic Governor Gretchen Vitimar has attacked the state capital. The men plotted to the kidnapper her ahead of presidential election, said FBI. Describing the accused as depraved, the Vitima said, when our leader meets with the encouraged and fraternizer with the domestic terrorist, with the legitimizer when the action and they had been complex. Protest in Indonesia against the new job law turns violent. Protests erupted in the major cities across Indonesia over the new job creation law which protesters say will harm workers and the environment. Police fired the tear gas at the protester who hurled the bottles and rock at the force as they approached the presidential palace in the Jakarta. The government will take the firm stand against the anarchist actions, said the Mohammed Mehfood, Indonesia's security minister. Lalu Prasad Yadav granted bail in the forest scam. Former Bihar CM Lalu Prasad Yadav was on Friday granted bail by Jhakand High Court. Yadav was granted bail in the Chai Basa Tertiary case related to the forwarded scam. However, Lalu Prasad Yadav will remain in jail since the Dumka Tertiary case is still pending. <laughs> Temple priest burned alive over the land dispute in Rajasthan Karoli. The temple priest was burned alive by a few people during a scuffle over his land dispute in Karoli district of Rajasthan. The priest died due to the burn injuries on Thursday night. The main accused, identified as the Kalish Mina, has been arrested by the police and efforts are the not the other accused over the attack the priest and burned him alive. The incident happened on Wednesday at Bukna village in Sapotra, Karoli district, Rajasthan and the temple priest succumbed to his injuries on the Thursday night. <laughs> Supreme Court refuses to cancel CLAT 2020. The Supreme Court on Friday refused to either cancel the common law admission test 2020 or stay the counselling process and ask the five candidates who were seeking scashing of the exams allegation technical glitches to give their grievance within the two days to the Red Russell community. CLAT is a centralized national level interest test for the admission to the 23 national law universities in India and the rest test was held on September 28. A bench comprising Justice Ashok Bhushan and M. R. Shah was informed by the senior law P. S. Narishima appearing for the consumer of NLUS that having grievance in the Red Russell Committee headed by the former Chief Justice of India which can consider the issue of the petition. So that's all for today. Stay connected with JK News Network. Thank you.